<laughs> what is your purpose of life? Is there a purpose in life? <laughs> After attending class, definitely no. <laughs> no purpose. Before that, you might have been thinking this is the purpose. Yes. Later. Later. Is there a purpose in life? And if it is there, what is that? Second one, second one. Second one. So what is the purpose? Anybody? Realization. <laughs> yeah, now we have all changed tracks. <laughs> Made us change track. <laughs> See, life as such goes after happiness. Okay. Always there is seeking in life is about happiness. Okay, not about you or everybody in everybody in the world, including animals. They want to be happy. Okay. So life is continuous seeking for happiness and avoiding suffering. Because happiness is our nature, we are seeking it. Now people confuse that purpose with the goal. I'll get happiness if I get a job. I'll get happiness if I get married. So the goal and purpose are different. <laughs> goal is some, some steps. The purpose <coughs> is the direction. The life is continuously flowing in the direction of happiness. Why it's flowing in the direction of happiness? Self-nature. Our own nature. original nature is that. You are Sat, Chit, existence and consciousness, but Ananda is missing. Okay. So do you exist? I exist. Are you conscious? Yes. yes. Are you happy? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> right? So existence and consciousness is my nature. And happiness is something I am missing. And why I am searching is because I know happiness is my nature. And existence, consciousness, happiness is called Brahman. Which is God. So, two aspects of Brahman you know anyway. Existence and consciousness. The third aspect of you, you search. Ananda. Okay. Which is happiness. Ananda is feeling infinity. Okay, being infinity is called Ananda, right? So you have see, you have I explained to you different types of Ananda, the coffee pleasure and uh, pleasure, happiness and all those things. Difference I have told. First class. First class. Okay. So we seek happiness because it's our nature. Okay. The only problem is we seek happiness in our nature, which is nature in the objects of the world. But the objects of the world are Mithya or not real. The Satya and Mithya <coughs> difference I have told you people. All right? You know what is that? The shirt example I have given? No shirt? No. Mithya means appearance, not real. Thread and shirt. Thread and shirt. Yeah, yeah? thread and shirt you remember? Shirt and thread and yeah. ultimately it goes to consciousness. Yeah. Right? So, in reality, there is no objects or only consciousness is appearing. Like a dream, in dream, dream that uh, mountain, valley, everything is appearing like a hmm? real. real, which is not there. So, you go after them. Right? So, this is what is called Mithya. Mithya. And you cannot get that happiness. Unless you find that these are unreal and only real is I, the self, the consciousness, the Brahman. So that is the purpose of life. But most of the people don't understand that self is the happiness. They keep on going after something or the other. And it is like going after a mirage. You will never find it. find it. The moment you go near, it will go one step further. Right. So, for people go after happiness in the form of goals, each goal will get pushed another few miles. The moment you say, I get a job, fine, you feel happy, but 
I want a promotion. The goal has already moved. Okay. Like that, the goal keeps on moving. You are seeking happiness. The happiness is the purpose of life. And share the happiness with the people. That's all. That's what we call as Atmano Mokshatam Javirtaj. Finding happiness in my own self and sharing with the people is called Jagadhitaya, Loka Kalyana. So that's the purpose. Now let us take the karma. So, how many of you make a good coffee, cup of coffee? Are you able to make a good cup of coffee? Yeah. No, we don't ask. No, we don't ask that. You see no, the... No, we don't answer. <laughs> So what about you? You are able to go make good coffee? It's very relative, no Guruji. Someone likes it, someone doesn't. <laughs> okay. But I think my coffee is good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now, let us understand making a cup of coffee. You said you can make a cup of coffee, good coffee, right? <laughs> <laughs> you, you do that? Yes. Sir. Ah. Now, I have found a person who makes a good cup of coffee. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let us understand making a good cup of coffee. So you only make a cup of coffee, right? <laughs> he doesn't make it. You get the coffee coffee powder. Do you make the coffee powder? No. No. Do you make the water? No. Do you make the milk? No. Do you make the fire? <laughs> then what do you make? Assemble what is already there. Oh, you she assembles what is there, right? In the right proportion. In right proportion. Okay. Now, how many of people believe that making a coffee is assembling in right proportion? Then I do it. <laughs> you don't make a cup of you don't make coffee powder, you don't make milk, you don't make water, you don't make fire. Then what do you do? We make coffee. <laughs> <laughs> how do you make coffee? <laughs> Or combined in the right proportion, it's called coffee. So right? you are combined. Your job is to combine in right proportion. That's what you're saying. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That means you should know how to do combine right proportion. Okay, let us make a small experiment. Please lift your left hand. Okay, not right hand, left hand. <laughs> <laughs> so keep the left hand back. Okay. Who lifted your left hand? You lifted your left hand? Yes. The sure. message went to lift it up. Uh -huh. so, but after that I don't know. So, <laughs> so how many, how much of blood has to flow into the left hand to make the blood, rise the left hand? Huh? You should know, no? Because you are you are the person who is responsible for making the coffee, mm -hmm. mixing it right proportion. You should know, at least not about coffee proportion. How much of proportion of blood has to go into the left hand, you should know, no? To lift your left hand. Huh? Don't know. Then how many signals have to go from brain to left hand? Huh? <coughs> don't know. I mean, you don't know proportion of blood has to go into your left hand. Then you know proportion of blood. <laughs> Coffee and sugar, how to do that? <laughs> That's something which we can see. Good. <laughs> so, do you see? <laughs> A lot of iterations. We do a lot of iterations and then... So, let me understand. You do a lot of iterations. First, let me tell me how much of blood has to go into the left hand to make the rise the left hand. Nature takes care of it. <laughs> so, <laughs> nature takes care of that. But coffee making is you. How is it possible? But my husband doesn't understand. If I pour more coffee, he'll say it is very bad. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't understand that it's nature's fault. <laughs> So, it is his nature. What is your problem? <laughs> you tell me, when you lift your hand, right? you don't know how much blood has to flow. How many cells are there in the left hand that you know at least? And how many signals have to go from brain? Don't know. Then you still claim to make a cup of coffee. You don't make water, milk, fire. You don't know how much of blood has to go into your hand, how much of signals have to go from the brain, then how can still you 
claim that you make a, making a cup of coffee how many actions have to go before you can make a cup of coffee any questions so do you think also Coffee is made. <laughs> <laughs> so let us understand who makes a cup of coffee, okay? Now I can make a mistake, one more mistake. I can make blender and I'll say, somebody made coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so, as long as I can, I can there's a problem. <laughs> 